name is Samuel. I'm a student, photography student at Taft University, School of Museum of Fine Arts. And um, I did a work on, uh, I call it Voices, because um, I wanted to go on the streets and capture the voice of the people on the streets in my country, Ghana. So um, for the next five to 10 minutes, I'll be, we'll be meeting the people I met during my project and also um, for them to also share their story like briefly with us and mostly through pictures. Um, I would say um, Dan Abbas gave me inspiration to do this work. Um, I got to learn a lot about her during class. Um, Abbas was the type of photographer to um, go to go out and find people on the fringe of her society to um, photograph. And um, in my society, I would say that the people um, who are on the fringe or the fringes of my society will be the, um, the low income people. And like most of these people are seen on the streets of Accra. So um, after watching, uh, like after studying Dian's work, I decided to um, not necessarily replicate, but then um, I was inspired to do a similar thing. So I went out and um, I spoke with people and uh, yeah, so that's what mostly got me to uh, do this because like I was in a different form of photography and um, Jan Albus work would be my first attempt at art conceptual photography and I really hope you enjoy it. So some of the people I saw on the road was, um, I think one person I had the connection with was Rebecca. And um, Rebecca has um, a story we hear like every day, especially in Ghana. So Rebecca goes to school in the northern region and um, every time during vacation she has to come all the way to Accra to Hawk so she can raise money to pay her fees. And um, as we were talking, she made mention of the fact that um, she's been here for quite a bit. And um, even though what she's selling doesn't belong to her, she has to make sales to someone else. She's been able to raise a substantial amount of money, like about 25% of her fees, which was roughly, her school fees was roughly $400. So um, that was like roughly $100. And um, I feel like um, there's something we can do to help people like this. And because uh, of the theory back, like, I intend to like, go out there and like meet more people so I can um, bring out their story and try to like find NGOs and like um, other stakeholders in the country to help them out. Um, how long, is it your first time doing this kind of thing? No, when I was, when I was in SS, I was like a child. So you are in university right now, right? Government secretary. Uh, government secretary. Government secretary school. And you do I'm doing it in Tamale. In Tamale. Oh, okay. okay. 
So how long are you going to be in Accra? I'll get, if I get the school fees, I'll go back on market, but if I didn't get that, I will go to Accra. You go on October? If I get the school fees, we are resuming on August, second August. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't get, I'll get extra time and add for the school fees. So, who do you live with in Accra? With my auntie. Your auntie, your auntie is here? Yes. Okay. Alright, nice meeting you, Rebecca. What's your person? Evelyn. Evelyn. Day. Evelyn Day. What's your name? It's a American house. That's this leg on. This leg. Okay. Um. Uh. What background do you say? Well, I never use it. Then you say never use school card either, and I want to go school. Boy. But maybe you know, na me pan the buy em. Na ma me see, you need to get them prepared. No way. Where are you now? Where? 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 I told you, my name may be pleased to end Oh, Oh, it's only at 3.30. I'm going to go to 3.30. I'm going to go to 3.30. I'm going to go to 3.30. I'm I'm 
Um, during my project, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of things. Uh, most mainly, like how to talk to people. And um, it was pretty hard because um, most of the people like photographed were like people in their um, environment. Like they were already um, up and about doing their daily activity. So um, it was really hard to like sometimes um, get them to uh, like give them like a full a few moments of their time. Like mostly it took roughly like an hour to like talk to people to like have a conversation with them. And um, afterwards, um, we um, we had to like um, stay with them most all through the day to um, like capture photos of like they like working. And um, other things was the language barrier because I'm in Accra, and uh, my language I mostly speak Accra, which is um, a language it's a pretty common language in Ghana, but it's mostly spoken in the central part of Ghana. And uh, Accra is in a coastal area, and in Accra, like the language is gone, and I'm not fluent. I can't speak any gone. Sometimes I can understand some of the words spoken, and like these people I met were like most of them spoke this God language, and um, it was really hard for me to communicate with them. So um, sometimes, like I get subjects I want to photograph, I get subjects I want to document, and it becomes um, really hard for me to like get to them like to communicate what I want to say. So I got a little bit of misunderstanding and um, at the time, so people thought I was going to sell the work. So they demanded money before they spoke to me. Like we made it really hard because I was working with, no, with little to no budget at all. So um, it was really hard to like get people to um, like, really. but then I would say that it was a pretty successful way because um, at the end, the people I got were people I was really interested in and people I really fell in love with. and I. Um, it showed in um, some of the pictures we got. And um, one other group I think I got also connected to were the kids I shot, I think, on Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, so um, one iconic feature about that picture was I have... Um, I made a portrait of this apartment block, which was on the other side of the road. And that apartment, like, um, uh, I think an, one apartment goes for almost a million dollars. And right across the road, we have these kids on the streets begging to make a living. And um, this kind of like shows the um, income difference in the country. And also how, like, um, we kind of overlook some things because um these kids i asked one and um he told me that they that they come there around 5 a.m and they stay there till like 10 p.m and i asked whether they go to school and like they can't because like most of the people there are refugees from niger and uh, mauritius and, like it find it really hard for them to like find better jobs their parents find it hard to find jobs in the country and um Apparently, there are no measures put in place that secures their livelihood. So um, I think that was also one important highlight because um, through my lens, I was able to share their story with a couple of people and um, they've given me positive feedback and they said uh, they're going to do the best they can to also get that issue sorted as soon as possible. 